Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Naturally NWA. My name is Eric Eby, and today I'm gonna to show you guys around Rogers. Rogers is pretty spread out and truly feels like two different cities. So I wanted to give you guys a tour to show you what it's like to live here. If you watched my previous videos, you might remember Rogers as the only city in Northwest Arkansas that had zero cons of living there, according to the residents that I surveyed. So let's go see why that is the general consensus. Follow me. Here we are in the Pinnacle Hills area of Rogers, which is on the west side of Interstate 49. Now there's more development going on in this area than almost anywhere else in Northwest Arkansas. Behind me, you can see Top Golf, which opened up in 2020 and has quickly become a very popular place for Northwest Arkansas residents to get together and have some fun. Right next door to Top Golf is the Walmart Arkansas Music Pavilion, well, better known as the AMP. The AMP went through some major renovations a year ago, and it now has a seating capacity of around 9,500. Cool thing about the AMP is a lot of musical and comedy tours stop there every year because Northwest Arkansas is located less than about four hours from several larger cities like Kansas City, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Little Rock, and Dallas. Now most of the touring acts will play the larger venues on the weekends and they'll make a midweek stop here in Rogers since it's conveniently located. There are also several popular restaurants in this area such as Saltgrass, Walk-Ons, Chewy's, Bonefish, Ruth's Chris, and some local favorites such as Grubs and Theo's. Within the last few years, several large corporations and Walmart suppliers have moved their local operations to this area of Rogers, and more are on the way with all development going on. Now, let's hop across the other side of 49, and let's see what's going on over there. So we're just on the other side of Interstate 49 from the Amp and Top Golf at the Pinnacle Hills Promenade. Promenade is where a lot of Northwest Arkansas residents come to shop. The outdoor mall concept works really well here because our weather is nice enough most of the year for people to enjoy walking around outside. And on bad weather days, you can just pull right up to the store you wanna go. Today is one of those good weather days. It's nice to walk around out here. Uh, there's also a few restaurants in the Promenade, including PF Chang's, and the Dave and Buster's right behind me, and my favorite burger place in Northwest Arkansas, Big Orange. You guys gotta check that out. Just outside the promenade are several other dining options and a Bass Pro Shop store. This area is a great place to spend those stimulus checks. Now that I've shown you the Pinnacle Hills area of Rogers, you're probably wondering what it costs to live over in this area. Now there are two golf course communities in the Pinnacle Hills area. Uh, one of them is actually Pinnacle and the other is called Shadow Valley. In Pinnacle, the average size home is around 4,500 square feet, and it ranges from on the low end around 400,000 and uh, all the way up to close to 2 million. In Shadow Valley, the homes are a little smaller on average. They're about 3,200 square feet, and they range from the upper twos to you know around one and a half million. Uh, there are several other nice neighborhoods in this area that are not in a gated golf course community, such as this one that I'm in right now, uh, Liberty Bell, and then Hearthstone um, subdivision is also right over here. These homes average around $136 a square foot, and they're typically under about 3,000 square feet. It's important to note that the homes in the Pinnacle Hills area of Rogers are zoned for Bentonville schools, which are the best in the state. Now let's head east and see what the rest of Rogers is like, shall we? Let's go. Here we are in front of the Rogers Aquatic Center, which is right in the middle of Rogers. This place sits on three acres and is a very popular destination for residents in the summer months, and it features a few awesome slides, a lazy river, some spat, splash pads, can't even say that, uh, sand volleyball courts, and some concessions. I did a video a couple of years ago about a client appreciation event we held here, so you should check that out if you haven't already. Now let's go see what's happening in downtown Rogers. Let's go. Okay, now we're here in downtown Rogers. Now, if you watched my pros and cons video I did of Rogers, you'll remember that this was one of the cons I mentioned. And as I expected, I caught a lot of flack for that from the Rogers residents because they think this is one of the pros. Um, 
I will say that since I did that pros and cons video, um, a lot has been done down here. And, and this area is certainly becoming one of the pros of living in Rogers. This area of Rogers is also known as Rogers on the Bricks because the streets are paved with old bricks. And this area is currently going through a major rejuvenation. There's several restaurants and bars down here, as well as some cool local shops that you can come check out. And the new rail yard park, which is over here behind me, um, will be opening later in 2021. Like I said, this area has come a long way since I did that video. And so this will be a very popular spot uh, whenever they get this open. The rail yard park has a bunch of cool features for the kids to play on. And there's also going to be a stage for outdoor musical performances. Just down the street from here is the rail yard bike park, which is a natural surface bike park with various elements allowing riders of any skill level to enjoy. And it's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. You can test your skills here and then either take a paved trail to Lake Atalanta Park or shoot down an off-road trail that connects to the multi-use trails around Lake Atalanta and the Pleasant Ridge trails. This place is awesome. Now with this downtown area of Rogers being so up and coming, a lot of people are trying to move down here. If you're one of them, let me tell you what you can expect. The downtown area of Rogers has mostly historic homes, but there are also some newer construction options kind of randomly peppered in the mix. If you want to live in a new construction or newly renovated home within a half mile of the downtown square, you're going to spend around 155 bucks a square foot. The average sold price for these new and renovated homes is around $300,000, but that number is rapidly increasing with all the development down here. If you would prefer a fixer upper, you're gonna pay probably in the neighborhood of around 120 a square foot, but that number is also on the rise. There aren't a lot of homes that hit the market in this area, so if you wanna find something down here, please give me a shout and I'll get to work for you. Now let's go check out the lake. Let's go. Okay, here we are at Prairie Creek Marina on Beaver Lake. Prairie Creek is one of the busiest marinas on the lake. Here, you can rent a slip for your boat, or if you don't have a boat, you can rent one of those as well. Uh, there are also some picnic areas over here, uh, swimming beaches, group shelters, hiking trails, uh, boat launch ramps, campgrounds, and dumping stations here at Prairie Creek. The boating season typically starts in late April and goes through the end of September. Outside of those months, you may need to invest in a wetsuit if you want to play in the water because it gets pretty chilly. So what did you guys think of Rogers? Can you see why it's the only city in Northwest Arkansas that I couldn't get anyone to provide any negative feedback on? If you guys ever have any additional questions about the local area or what it's like living here, or if you'd like more information on the real estate market, please reach out to me. All of my contact information is listed in the description below, so feel free to call, text, email, or connect with me on social media. If you like what you saw, please also subscribe with the button above. Until next time, I'm Eric Eby with HomeQuest Realty, and I can't wait to show you more of our beautiful area on the next episode of Naturally NWA. Thanks for watching.